Hi, I'm Dick Van Dyke. And I'm Eric Judy. And today we're talking about rates versus ratings. You know, finding the balance. That's right. So, where is the balance when you're when you're faced with an annuity question, which do you choose? Yeah. Rates or ratings? Now, I guess we should explain what we mean by rates here. What is a, a rate when it comes to, or not a rate, but a, a rating when it comes to an annuity, you know? Right. Well, the rate ratings have, uh, caught some flat because is, you know we've <laughs> we've recently come through this financial crisis and there was a lot of ratings by Moody's and a few different ones that um, were not good ratings they rated them like A rated when they were really you know should have been maybe B rated so so we saw a lot of uh, a lot of people got hurt by that yeah so and we we should talk about ratings there's I think of six different companies here. You know, you've got your Standard and Poor's, Fitch's, AM Best, it's the Street, the Street, which used right. to be Weiss, uh, right. and then then there's a Comdex rating, which is kind of this composite yes. scoring mm -hmm. system. So, so there are a lot of different ratings agencies out there. So right. it's not just being able to look at, hey, well, this one is right. good, this one is bad. Right. How do if, you if, choose? Yeah, yeah. If, if one or two of them see something completely different than the other six, you've got to you've got to stop and and. And figure out what's going on right. here, but on when it comes to insurance, and and uh, we we tend to use AM Best as the uh, uh, what the bell ringer, the yeah. the front runner. Yeah. They've been uh, they're well known for rating insurance companies. Been around for over a hundred yeah. years, and um, they, they're out of uh, they have like sixteen ratings levels uh, to get to like A plus plus. Right. So. Yeah. so. And we use AM Best primarily as an advisor. The yes. first thing that we take into consideration when making a recommendation is the return of that the, the, the client is going to receive right. what that contract right. guarantees them. So Not the return on the money, but the return, return of, of the, the money. money. <laughs> yes, that's a, I love that quote. But it's, <laughs> so, it, so that's the first thing we take into consideration right. when making a recommendation. We're right. never going to recommend a company to work with if we don't truly gonna if, if it's substandard right there's something you know uh, that could be very negative about yeah, that yeah. company and so for us we're looking for for companies that typically you would if you don't look at the actual rating but the, the statement would be there is a good they're in good financial condition right so right. That, which is typically B or, or above right. well and, and yes yeah, so when, right. when, when we look at an uh, AM best rating mm -hmm. uh, to get to a B rating, it's like, you know, number 10 or 11 out of 16. For a company to achieve a B rating, um, it's very difficult, very difficult. So when we start looking at maybe a B plus to an A rated company, which is like, you know, uh, uh, only four back uh, from 16 or 15, uh, to where it's like a number, tw number 12 out of 16 ratings or number 13, that's pretty good. So, so I, I mean, as a rule, Eric, yeah. uh, with our clients, uh, we'll go B plus or above right. um, to balance getting good rates. Yeah. And, and so here's the balancing question. Yeah. Right. Just in, in the not too distant past here, we had a, a company in our state that was literally trying to buy the business in a metropolitan area. They were offering mm -hmm. rates that were three times higher than anyone where, else. It, but <laughs> when you went, you looked at their rating. They were a C minus minus almost minus. non-existent. Yeah, it was. They were obviously trying to buy right. the business because right. they they needed the capital. Whatever the right. reason, they they were basically willing to pay a significantly higher rate. And did we recommend anyone? We to did go not. To that <laughs> no. No, and actually, we were typically caught in a position where. We're not downplaying the right. company, but we're right. saying that's the concern. As as advisors, right. I can't recommend that position right. because of where they're rated. Eric, the antithesis of that is when we look at the very very high rated companies. You know, the A plus right. plus, uh, maybe the uh, I, I hate to name names here yeah, because yeah. it's easy enough for yeah. people to you yeah, know you look can do, that you, can, you can yes. look them all up and they change right. <laughs> um, but the A plus plus companies, um, so many times. Uh, when we start to examine their rates, 
their rates are way substandard. It truly to, becomes the return of your money. Yes, it's yes. not so, the return so on their, your money. So their great rating yeah. is not based on generosity to clients. No, it, it's generosity to themselves. <laughs> they're taking care of the home front. For, and that's what their financial conditions are excellent. Right. I mean, yes. they have protected and insulated the company and their at client. the highest degree, and so they're insuring and yet the deposits. Yet the return is minimal to, you know, right. um, I won't say nothing, but, you know, that's kind of where we're at with the banks today, too. Exactly. So so, so if the goal is just to get the return of your money, you don't you want to park it someplace <laughs> and literally just get it back. Right. right. But if you're going to find the balance mm -hmm. and you want to get a good return on your money, because, hey, we have to keep up with inflation or we're going backwards. That's right. So if we're not getting some kind of a realistic return on our money, uh, uh, some some real interest gains. So if if you if you do that balancing act, and you stay with a you know say a B plus company, A minus, A A plus, those are all companies where we can find rates, uh, good rates, uh, and a lot of safety. Yeah, and it's it, it's a truly a balance, right? And, and another, the other thing we look at is is how is that company moving? Are they moving? Right. Up? Are they improving? Right. right. Are they starting to backslide? You know, right. it's, what's right. not just where yeah, are is they it, now? Is it an A plus plus company that's got a negative outlook? Yeah. And things aren't going well for that company, and we're going to watch it over a period of years, yeah. you know, dropping down. Or is it a B plus company that's had several upgrades yeah. and it's going in the right direction? Right. It's got a high solvency ratio, and that's our job is to look at those things right. and advise our clients. You know who's who's really going the right way. That's right, and so, and so we have to take those <laughs> factors into consideration yes, as well. Yes. And then it's basically saying, what's the client's needs? How do we best achieve them? Is there right. a piece there? So what what good does it do for us to keep their money safe while they go broke through that's their right. retirement? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Cardboard boxes are getting expensive. Yeah. No, it, it's trying to maintain and meet those goals and right. using the best possible scenarios and truly yes. for us putting the client in a position to succeed and do it in a safe, secure position. Right. Now, now I, I would like to say something about rating agencies and um, how they rate these companies and what we, you and I, typically see over a period of years. And, and I think that it's very interesting that with insurance companies because they have such substantial assets and their accounting is uh, uh, I, I, I'm losing the, the word general for it. accepted uh, accounting well, yeah the general case. accepted accounting principles but what I'm looking at is oh, statutory accounting right. is the, the, the word right. for that and since they have this this statutory type accounting it's a cash basis type accounting that they you really know where these companies stand so they don't they don't like evaporate overnight. Yeah. I mean, we watch these, um, you know, when somebody's in trouble, they tend to be in trouble for a period of many years, yeah. or a few years, or a couple of years, and you see out in the distance that they're having some difficulties, and their ratings don't drop overnight. Right. Uh, it's, a, it's a very slow process of a negative outlook, and maybe a, a downgrade of a minus, and, and, and over a period of one, two, three years, you'll see this company kind of trailing down. Well, it gives you plenty of time to position is a rule, a, a strategy, if you if you want to move from that company, because right. there's some problem. Right. It's, it's more of a glacial change, where it's yes. a real yes. slow shift. Well, as compared to maybe if we were talking about investment return, and uh, we got into, woke up one day and we were in a war, or, or there was uh, some problem with uh, the flow of oil, or right. whatever, and, and overnight, you know, your value from the market can drop. Well, and, I, and I, like I said, we're not going to name names here, but if I, if I say there was an insurance company that was once deemed too big to fail yes, just recently, yes, yes. it was an A-rated company at the time. Now, perception, public perception is that they were in big trouble. They were in big trouble. And, oh my gosh. And my money might be in big trouble. That's right. Yeah. Now, it, it Did should that be company's state, name start with an A? Yeah, I was going to say, it should, <laughs> <laughs> we haven't narrowed it down to too many, if we, but, but it should be known right. that no Basically, no premiums, no benefits were failed to be paid. Right. And it wasn't the insurance division that was in trouble. Right. It was the investment side. That's that right. Company. And that company still maintained an A rating through all, all of that. that. Even with, with clients pulling out, you know, in a big way because they were afraid, uh, that company's still very solid. Right. You know, yeah. it, that's not to be said that's an endorsement for them. It's right. But we wanted to right. point out... When you're talking about the accounting, the right. reserving for right. the insurance side of what happens yes. with these companies, 
it's highly regulated. Right. And like you said, there's glacial right. change. Right. And, and if, in fact, that company would have failed, the insurance portion of it would not have failed because it would have just went into receivership, would have moved over to another profitable company, the assets are intact, the money is extremely safe. And that's what people, people, the folks, that's what you need to understand about annuities is this high level of safety uh, that, that annuities have. So, so, all right. In conclusion, <laughs> rates or ratings, which is more important? We, we know that, that there has to be a balance. There's a balance. And, and as, as long as we hit that balance, um, I would say that to most people, um, they, they would say that the first thing is they want a highly rated company. And the second thing they say is they don't want an annuity unless they can get the rates they need. You know, they can get something that works for their retirement. So they're both, I would say, equally important. You really can't have one without the other. I would say there's a baseline <laughs> with the ratings. Yeah. We're not going to go below here. And yeah. once we're meet that standard right once we've hit that 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 then we find right then we find what meets the needs the, the objective. best the best right. the best possible right. way with right. the company so right. you cut your your line in the sand with your your ratings yeah. and then you move yeah. to the benefit level from there yeah and that's the job of the advisor folks is to help you find that balance and uh, that's what we do for our clients and uh, you want to get with a, a you know a good local advisor that really can make a difference in helping you find that balance Thanks for tuning us in uh, this, this wonderful day. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of weak, Eric. That's what it was. <laughs> it's a beautiful day here. Uh. Thanks, thanks for uh, enjoying the video. Thank you. Bye now.